Hi, this is Jane Radford. Welcome to Framework Dowsing. Um, just doing a short video for you on letting them create your dowsing framework for you. Um, so who's them? Well, it could be anyone um, who's produced um, or correlated information for you to choose from. So you're thinking about the index or the contents page in a book. You could be considering a website where you um, choose choose what product you're going to purchase. Uh, it could be a map um, or plans of, of a house or property or area of land. Um, yeah, try and really think outside the box and think about where information is in a form that you can either use directly or you can adapt and create into a list, chart, family tree, mind map idea. Um, yeah, we talk about this um, in our course which is to do with creating your own dowsing framework. There's also um, already a, a short video on the website uh, using a list which is associated with flower essences. So you could have a look at that. When you've got your list or your chart or your map with all the information on it, you can, you're then in a situation where the brain is not having to search for those items that you're dousing through. You can put them into brackets or areas or colour code them and it's just freeing up part of the brain, the left hand side of the brain that's create, creating the questions so that if you also have your questions off pat and you're not having to think about your questions you're really going to improve your dowsing process. So look in the index of your world loved reference books. Either photocopy them or print them out and uh, use brackets or areas of the page which you lay your hands upon. See how you get on and we'd love to, to read your comments on the blog post. Okay, all the best, enjoy your dousing. Thank you.